Find the perimeter of this polygon gross. Assume that the lines which appear to be tangent are tangent. So your tangent, your tangent, your tangent, your tangent. Hmm. This whole line is 18.4. A chunk of it is 5.4. This whole line is 21.9. This whole line is 20.5. I've got nothing about you. This is what I know. If it tells us that lines which appear to be tangent are tangent, then we obviously care about tangents. Now, this is what we know about tangents and about tangents that seem to meet at these points out here. Tangents that meet at a point in space are congruent, which means you guys are going to be congruent. You guys are going to be congruent. You guys are going to be congruent. And these two guys are going to be congruent. So I know you're 5.4. Now that doesn't give us this guy, but we're going in the wrong direction if we try to go here. We need to work our way around counterclockwise as gross as it is. This whole thing is 18.4. If this chunk is 5.4, then you are going to be 18.4 minus 5.4, which is 13. So this guy is 13, which makes you 13 as well. If this whole thing is 21.9, then I could subtract 13 from it to get this chunk right here. 21.9, I'm sorry, 21.9 minus 13 is 8.9, which means you're 8.9. So if this whole thing is 20.5 and you're 8.9, then this chunk right here 20.5 minus 8.9, which is going to be 11.6, making you 11.6. Now, the reason why we had to go through that whole part of my language rigmarole is to find this whole length, which is 5.4 plus 11.6, which is 17. So the perimeter of the quadrilateral is going to be 17 plus 18.4 plus 21.9 plus 20.5. Okay, all of the blue lines added together. 17 plus 18.4 plus 21.9 plus 20.5, 77.8 according to Mr. Computer that I'm using off to the side. Okay, no craziness needed. I mean, it's, it's a crazy problem. It's a wacky problem, but you know, there you have it, tangents, fun.